In this video, I'll show you how to replace the battery in a pair of Sony MDR XB650 BT headphones. Uh, you'll need a soldering iron, a Phillips screwdriver, and some sort of plastic pry tool. The battery is located on the left side of the headphones, so we'll go ahead and start taking apart that side. And we'll take out the four screws. The battery is under this case here. We'll start off by desoldering these two cords here, the positive and negative ends of the battery. Next, there are two screws, three screws, that we need to remove. I just use this pry tool to remove the case. You just have to do that to access the battery. So here's our defective battery. We'll go ahead and remove it. And we can toss that. We'll get our replacement battery. I have a link for where you can purchase these. So we'll go ahead and put that in the case. And run the cables through there, run the wires through there. And we'll get it reinstalled. So first we'll go ahead and just place the battery in. You just want it to get centered and you need to have the screws lined up properly. Because these cables are really short, I'd go ahead and solder the battery in before you screw this board down onto the case. So towards the outside on the left we have ground or black and then we have our red which is our positive. We'll just get that soldered right in. And now's a good time if you would like to go ahead and check and see if it's successful you can go ahead and try to power it on. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold the power button, which is on the right side, and we have life. So that's great. The battery may power on automatically once you have it soldered in place. But if not, you know, power it on yourself. If it still won't power it on, try to plug it into a charger and charge it up for a couple minutes and see, could just be that the battery doesn't have any juice left. Alright, so once that's screwed in place, we're just going to put everything back where it needs to go. I like to put a little bit of super glue on here to just hold the ear cushion in place. Because the old adhesive that's holding it in place loses some of its stickiness over time. All right, that does it. If you need any help repairing something else on these headphones, I'll include a link to a full repair video.